Hi everyone, it's Gina, your online biz expert. And today I want to show you how to install the Facebook WordPress plugin. Let's get started. In order to get through the process, you want to be logged into your Facebook account and you also want to be logged into your WordPress site. The first thing we want to do then is in our WordPress site, we want to install the plugin. So let's go to plugins at the left and add new. In the search box, you want to type Facebook and click search plugins. Now, as expected, there are lots of Facebook related plugins that, are, that will pop up. What you want to do is make sure that you're installing the Facebook plugin that was created by Facebook. So you just want to look over here and make sure that it says by Facebook and that's the one we're going to install. So click on install now and when it asks you are you sure you want to install click OK. And then we want to go ahead and activate the plugin. So now we're ready to go and configure the plugin. So you can either click here where it says configure the plugin or you can find it over here on the left hand side. I'm just going to go and click right up here. Okay, in order for us to in, make this plugin work, what we have to do now is we have to create an app on Facebook. Yay! Here comes the fun part. So if you haven't created an app before, I'll walk you through the easy steps of doing so. So what we want to do, you are already, you should already be logged into your Facebook. Now you can either click here on this link and it will open the Facebook developers page for you. Or if you're already in Facebook and you just type developers, bring you to the developer page and then you just click on apps and it'll take you to where you need to be. So let's close out of one of those. So there, here I am and I'm going to go ahead and create the app that I need to make this work. So the first thing we want to do is click on create new app. And so the first thing you have to do is give your plugin a name. So I'm going to call this one and see if that name is accepted. And again, it, I think it doesn't like me using the term plugin. So I'm going to try again and see. and see what if that one works. Okay, so I did find one that works and it says so right here. It says valid. Now, app namespace, although it says that it's optional, you want to go ahead and do give it something because you'll see why later that it's a pretty useful thing to have. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to call it exactly the same thing. Oops. And it says that it's available. So now I'm going to move on. Now, what you do not want to do, you do not want to check this box that says web hosting. So after you've named it and you've given it a namespace, you want to go ahead and click continue. And depending on how many apps you've ever created, you may see this message where it's asking you to do a security check. You just go ahead and do that and hit submit. All right, so once you've done that, now that you've created the app, what you're going to see is an app ID and an app secret, and those are going to prove to be very important. Just scroll on down. So just scroll on down, and there are some other things that we have to supply here. So you see the display name that you created earlier, the namespace, and this is usually going to be your default um, Facebook email. I've changed it for the sake of this demo. and. Now we want to go in and add the app domain and that means the next thing you need to supply now is the app domain. In other words, where is this going to reside? And you do not need to put in any HTTP or www. You just need to put the name of the domain. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of my domain. And I'm going to select a category. Now the next thing I'm going to do, there are two sections down here for the integration that we need to complete. The first one is website with Facebook login. And this is where you're going to type the URL. Notice the difference. Up here it was the domain and down here it's the URL. So because it is the URL, you do need to put in the HTTP or if it's if you have a secure site, it's HTTPS. 
but it's http colon forward slash forward slash and the domain name now very important you need to put a forward slash at the end of the domain name now the next piece of this that we need to fill out is where it says mobile web and of course this is only if your website or your WordPress site is mobile ready and I think most of them are so you probably want to go ahead and fill this out and again we're going to use the same format that we used before with the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and your domain name and again you want to ensure that there's a forward slash at the end of it so those are the fields that you need to complete. You have the app ID and the app secret, the display name, the name space, contact email, the domain name, a category, website with Facebook login for your site URL, and mobile web with your site URL. So let's click Save Changes. Now, once you've done that, you should get a message saying that it's done. Now, if you get an error message, what I find is people tend to forget to put the forward slash on the end of the URL. Sorry. So just if you get an, a domain error, that's likely what it's going to be. So you want to just double check that. So now that the next step in the process then is for you to set up what is called the open graph. And this is what actually integrates your WordPress site with the Facebook plugin. So we're going to go over here and click on Open Graph. And you're going to see this screen that says Get Started with Open Graph. What we want to do is, where it says People Can, you want to click in that field and you'll see a drop down and you want to choose Publish. Then you want to go over here in the next field and when you click in, you're going to see a list of things and you want to click article so you want to put people can publish a article or an article then you want to go ahead and click get started now once you have done that your plugin is now ready for integration into your WordPress site we've created this we are ready to transfer the necessary information to the dashboard in our WordPress site. So this is what we're going to do next. We're going to scroll down and where it says App ID. Remember we created the App ID over here so we're going to highlight Control C and then we're going to come over here and click in and do a Control V. The App Secret we're going to highlight that. Control C and we're going to paste it in control V and the same is for the app name space now notice in the plugin it's called app name space and over here it's called just name space so you want to come in and control C or you could use right click copy and paste so now that I've put that information in there I'm gonna go ahead and save my app and it may or may not take this much time but okay so my settings have been saved and now I'm ready to go ahead and continue the f configuration of the plugin to my WordPress site so this is a line here that says these settings affect pages and posts only additional social plugins are available in the widget setting I'm not gonna get into that for the sake of this video but for right now we'll just focus on the basics so what we want to do is select social publisher and it's asking us if we want to publish to the author's timeline I'm actually going to skip over that because that's a little involved and you don't really need it at this point now what we do want to do is if you have a fan page because remember one of the great features about this plugin is that it lets you push content from your blog right into your Facebook um, page and I know some of you may already have third party apps that are doing this already but I, I like this one and I think it's cleaner and you know it doesn't mean you have to stop using the others it just means that perhaps you can adjust the timing and um, you can have it coming from both places but for the sake of this video let's take a look at setting up so that we are publishing 
to our Facebook page using this particular app. So you want to go ahead and click link your Facebook account to your WordPress site. So I'm going to click login and I'm already logged in. And what it's going to do is I just want to click, you know, ignore all of this for the time being and just say allow. And once you've clicked on the allow button, it's going to give you the opportunity to indicate which page you want the information push. So now you notice that when you click on social publisher, it's going to give you a list of all of the pages that you manage. And as you can see, I manage quite a lot of them. And in this instance, I am going to publish it to this page here. Um, it's now going to ask you, do you want to have mentions on your home page? Again, you don't have to put this there, but if you want to, you can click on it. Mentions position. And if you do select the mentions, you want to tell it whether you want those to be at the top or at the bottom. And I'm going to skip that for the time being. The next thing I want to do is click on the like button. And I want to tell it to include a like button. I do want to include some faces. And I want to leave it to the standard. And you can mess around with this stuff if you would like. Once you've already installed it, you can see how it works. And then you can come back in here and change it. You know, I'm actually going to change my font to Verdana. And I only want mine on top. I don't want it on the bottom. So I've just changed the position. And yes, I do want to show it on my home page. The next thing is the subscribe button. Now this is different from the Facebook page. What the subscribe button is doing is, if you know in the new Facebook timeline, Facebook allows you to have subscribers and I'll show you very quickly over here. And if you notice, I have at the moment just 58 subscribers. You know, because a lot of people haven't quite embraced that whole concept and understand what it is. But there are some people who can subscribe to your profile even if they're not your friend. So depending on how you use Facebook, you may consider that this is very important to you. And I am going to include it. I'm going to include a subscribe button because I think it's very important. Okay, so now the next feature is the send button. I am not going to select this because if you remember, in the like button features, it also gave me the opportunity to include send and I've already checked it. So I'm going to leave that and I'm not going to choose it again because otherwise it will give you two instances of the send. Finally, I'm also going to check the comments box because I would like to see comments below all of my posts and some of you would already have seen this on other blogs so this is neat and again I suggest you just install it you set it up and then once you see how it plays in your blog you can always come back here and update it as to the recommendations bar I am going to also include that I'm going to leave it change it to recommend and I'm changing it to recommend because I already have a like button up here if you remember we already installed like so I'm going to change that to recommend and I'm gonna keep that to the right of my post or you could put it to the left so there you have it I've set it up and I'm gonna say save my changes hope for the best and then I'll show you how it displays on the actual blog and it says that I go over to my website and see just if it's installed correctly so I'm gonna click on my latest blog post and there you have it all of the stuff that I just configured is in fact appearing where it should. Here's the subscribe button, here's the like button, and here's the send button. Now these buttons are actually being installed from another app and has nothing to do with Facebook. So these are the three things that I've just installed and hopefully at the bottom of this we're going to see that yes, the Facebook comment and subscribe buttons are also visible after every blog post. So there you have it. how to install the Facebook WordPress plugin. Thanks again for stopping by and if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below and I would appreciate you sharing this video with others for whom you think it might be of any interest and until next time, thanks again. Have a great day.